And we got the whole shit like I know this Smack my mind out so I can't even fold it Fuck is you doing with that fire you won't blow it I get my lip back you won't even know it Pop out with five me I won't even show it Twerk got a tackle me I won't even throw it Your pocket stay out and you don't even know it What's good YouTube man we back with another video man Today's video is gonna be super simple. As y'all can see by the title, I ain't gonna be telling y'all how I got my first dunk at only 5'7". I'm 14 years old. Several of y'all in my comment section are saying I'm not 14 years old. Like, I literally have no reason to lie. Like, it pisses me off every single time I see a comment that says I'm not 14. Like, how the hell are you gonna tell me how old I am? Like, what, bro? My birthday is in August. So, I mean, I'm turning 15 in August, if that if that helps with anything. I was born in 2009, if that helps with anything, I mean, like, I don't know. All right, but yeah, man, in this video, I'm going to be teaching y'all what I did to dunk at 5'7". If you're trying to increase your vert by 6, 7, 8 inches over the summer, possibly even more, bro, I advise y'all to listen to what I'm saying in this video, bro, because I was able to increase my vertical by, like, 3 or 4 inches in a matter of a month. I'm Like, literally, I'm not even trolling. If y'all go back to the beginning of my journey on day one, bro, I was barely touching rim, bro. And I was I was barely dunking on nine feet. And I went from barely dunking on nine feet and barely touching rim on 10 feet to easily dunking on nine feet, dunking on nine foot five, and catching lobs on 10 feet, bro. I want progress like that in a matter of a month, bro. Listen to what I'm saying. All right, step number one, if you're trying to increase your vertical, bro. Step number one to increasing your vertical, bro, is super, super duper simple, bro. Jump. Jump, dude. If you're trying to increase your vertical, you're not just finna increase your vertical by just sitting around, bro. You actually have to jump. Like, if you want to jump higher, you have to jump more. That's what I did, bro. I was just jumping all the time, like... Let's say, like, I'm going up the steps, bro. Like, I'll be, like, hopping up the steps. Like, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm losing. I'm going to give y'all I'm gonna give y'all an example. Like, let's say I'm playing video games, right? What everybody, what, you know what I'm saying? Most of the teenage boys do play video games, right? Let's say I'm playing video games. I'm going to give y'all an example. Fall Guys, right? Let's say if I lose in the first round, which I never do, by the way. But let's say I lose in the first round. I would do 100 cap phrases. If I were to lose in the second round, I will do 75 cap phrases. If I were to lose in the third round, I'll do 50. And if I were to win the game, I wouldn't do any cap phrases. But you get the point. Make it long story short, I was always losing. So I, I just kept doing cap phrases. But it was fun for me. Why? Because I was playing a video game. And at the same time, I was still working on my legs, bro. So at the end of that gaming session, bro, I ended up doing like 700 cap phrases. And like, it was actually fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, that's step number one, bro. Just always like, just, just. You know what I'm saying? Just, just have fun with it, bro. Just have fun with it. Like, when people think about increasing your vertical, bro, they think about boring, intense leg workouts. That's a part of it, bro. But that's not the main thing. Like, there's other ways to increase your vertical, dude. All right, the second thing I did to increase my vertical, bro, I set goals for myself. Y'all might be like, what do you mean you set goals for yourself? Okay, I'm gonna give y'all an example. I have four different ceiling heights in my house. One ceiling height is probably like eight foot five. Another ceiling height is probably like nine foot five. Another ceiling height is probably like 10 feet. And another ceiling height is like 10 foot three. So like, I'm gonna give y'all an example, hold on. This ceiling is like eight foot five. <sighs> My head hit the ceiling. This ceiling is about nine foot five. This ceiling outside is probably like 10 feet. All right, and the ceiling in my mom's room is probably like 10 foot three. I say 10 foot three because I measured it and it came out at 10 foot three. Hey. Uh, I did all of that to say, set goals for yourself. So for the eight foot five ceiling, it's been my goal for a really long time now to try to be able to hit my head on the ceiling. And just recently, I just accomplished that goal. So then I knew that my vert was increasing. So that gave me motivation to keep going. Probably about a year ago, I wasn't even touching nine foot five ceiling. But then as I started working on my legs and as I started getting more bouncier, I started easily touching the nine foot five ceiling. And I realized that my bounce started getting better. So that gave me motivation to keep going. 
You see where I'm going with this? Seeing yourself accomplish simple goals like touching the ceiling, that's gonna give you motivation to keep going. And as you continue to, to break and accomplish goals, eventually you're gonna dunk on an actual basketball goal. You, you, see, you see what I'm saying, right? I'm not even trolling. Like probably two weeks ago, I was not touching that 10 foot ceiling outside and now I'm doing it easily. I don't even got no shoes on and I touched the, the 10 foot ceiling. And then the 10 foot three ceiling in my mom's room, dead serious. Couple days ago, I was barely touching it. Now I'm touching it with all five of my fingers. So I see that my bounce is getting is getting better. So that's giving me motivation to continue to, to work out. You dig what I'm saying? So yeah, step number two, set goals for yourself. Even if it's like tiny goals, like touching the ceiling in your house or trying to be able to like, I don't know, grab rim on eight for five. Like let's say you can't grab rim on eight for five, which is totally cool. Make a goal for yourself to grab your mom 8 for 5 and keep on tracking your progress until you actually accomplish the goal. You dig? Alright, the last and final step I did to dunk at 5 foot 7, bro. Y'all not gonna like this one. It just is what it is, bro. You have to work out, dude. You have to. I don't know if y'all been watching my days, bro. My day 1 through 11. I think I'm on day 11. I don't think y'all been watching my days, bro. But every single one of those days, I work out, bro. I work out every single one of those days and I can guarantee say that I've been seeing a lot of progression in my bounce, bro. I can guarantee you say that, bro. So me talking to you, I'm telling you right now, work out, dude. Like, even if you don't know how, like what workouts to do, bro, just, just you can literally easily just go look on YouTube shorts or look on TikTok. You can find some workouts. You can find some plyometric workouts that you can literally do every single day at home. So there's no excuse. If y'all trying to get some simple workouts right now, bro, like calf raises, pogo jumps, box jumps, simple stuff, squat jump, bro. Squat jumps is a good one, bro. Especially if you do squat jumps with weight, bro. That's a good one, bro. I'm telling you. So yeah, me, I was working out every single day. So I was able to get a lot of progress going, bro. I was able to go from barely touching room to catching lobs in one month. That's crazy progress, bro. But if you're not trying to work out every single day, bro, you could probably work out like once, twice a week, bro. You do not have to work out every single day like I did. But if you want to, bro, if you want to get crazy progress quicker, go ahead, twin. But make sure when you're working out every single day, make sure you're working to repair your body as well because you need to repair your body in order to actually see growth. So don't just be working, 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 working and don't give your legs like a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? Like I was taking ice baths, I was taking Epsom salt baths, like I was repairing my legs while also building my legs. So I was actually seeing progress. But if you just work your legs, until you can't no more, bro. Your legs eventually aren't gonna be able to take that no more. You're not gonna see no growth. But yeah, you don't gotta work out every day. If you work out like once or twice a week while also doing the other two steps I said, like jumping and stuff like that and um, placing goals for yourself, working towards those goals, like doing calf raises while playing the game, you're gonna see progress. Like I guarantee you, like I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. Like I'm coming from like a personal standpoint from someone who actually did that, bro. I'm telling you, you will see progress if you do everything I'm saying in this video. All right, man, but that's gonna be about it for this video, man. Oh yeah, I've been seeing y'all blow up my previous video, bro. Y'all keep going crazy on that video. How high I can dunk on 10 feet part two right here, bro. Y'all keep going crazy on that video, bro. Y'all are going dumb. I ain't gonna catch. I appreciate all the love and support y'all been showing on the channel, bro. Keep on showing the love and support. Keep on leaving comments. Keep, like, turn on post notifications so you don't miss my videos, bro. Bro, we, we gonna be lit all summer. I ain't gonna cat, bro. When I come back from the summer, bro, I'm gonna be punching that, bro. I'm gonna be, <clears throat> I'm gonna be punching that, bro. I'm telling you. Y'all gonna be punching it, too, if y'all listen to what I'm saying in this video. I'm trying to give y'all the sauce, my boy. Like, what? I'm trying to give them a sauce. Like, I'm trying to sauce them up. Ain't nobody giving y'all the sauce like this on YouTube. Like, come on now, bro. Let's be honest. No one's giving y'all the sauce like this. Like, I'm giving it to y'all, bro. I'm literally, I'm giving it to y'all. Man, if y'all if y'all enjoyed this video, bro, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If y'all if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're doing, bro. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers, bro. Help your boy out. But yeah, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, bro, turn on post notifications, leave a comment, bro. I'll catch y'all in the next one.